Due to a unique mix of genetic and environmental risk factors, certain eye diseases are particularly common in Asian populations. Well-developed areas are home to a high prevalence of myopia, angle closure glaucoma, pachycoroid eye disease, and certain types of non-infectious uveitis. Underdeveloped regions have seen the spread of infectious uveitis due to tuberculosis and mosquito-borne disease. The result is a continent full of opportunities for the study of these disorders. A special section in the January 2019 edition of the journal I summarizes what's been learned from recent investigations. Through a series of nine review articles, the special issue examines the clinical characteristics, imaging features, and management considerations for a range of eye conditions commonly found in Asia. One article details pachycoroid eye disease, a relatively new term describing changes in the choriocapillaris resulting from dilated choroidal veins. The authors include a discussion of key morphological features that can help clinicians recognize the condition. Another article explores the difference in the basic pathogenic mechanisms driving the development of polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy and typical age-related macular degeneration. In part, the propensity to develop these conditions comes down to choroidal thickness, although the factors that determine this thickness aren't fully understood. Myopia is another topic of interest. A variety of sight-threatening complications can arise from high myopia, which has made the condition a major global health problem. One article examines the strategy of using atropine for myopia control. Asia has also seen an exponential increase in the incidence of diabetes mellitus. As a result, the demand for screening of diabetic retinopathy is expected to rise. This increase will put a considerable burden on areas that don't have sufficient eye care providers. One review article looks at a futuristic approach to managing that burden. The authors examine how deep learning models with artificial intelligence neural networks can help in the diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy, which could aid early screening efforts. Are you ready to learn more? Click on the link below to access the special Asian perspective issue of I.